Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today changing the oil and the oil filter on a Vespa GTS 300. And this will be the same on a Vespa GTS 250. And this is me and I'm just going to go for a quick ride. And it's important that you keep your Vespa in tip top condition. And you should be changing the oil and a new oil filter at least once a year, regardless of how much you use it. But anyway, before we get started on this job, let's have a nice cup of tea. Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? Now what you're going to need, you're going to need a brand new oil filter, HF183, and you're going to need some fully synthetic oil, and you're going to need a new O-ring for your sump plug in case that gets damaged. Now there's two schools of thought here, one which says you should uh, start up your engine, make sure it's nice and hot, and then the oil will drain quicker because obviously it gets thinner. And the other school of thought is drain it when the oil is cold, because then you haven't um, run it and all the muck and gunge at the bottom the engine just gets thrown up inside it again whereas if it's cold all the engine all the muck and bits and bobs will be at the bottom of the engine so I'm actually going to drain it cold so there is the sump drainage plug there and I've just got a funnel here and a pot make sure that's obviously 1.3 liters because you do not want that to overflow and I've got 15 16 on here on the sump plug so first of all just undo that once you've undone it with that uh, spanner then just do it with your fingers and then make sure you've got everything ready once you've got everything ready then just carry on undoing it with your fingers and let the oil drain now this will take a good couple of minutes obviously it'll come out fast to start with so basically it's just sit and wait for a little while. And there we go, we've got the oil draining into that pot. And this is about three or four minutes later. Now what you can do now, which you need to do, is take out the extra oil filter, plastic filter which is inside just pull it with some pliers just make sure this is in good condition hasn't if it's got any bits in it obviously try and remove those give it a good clean this has also got a rubber o-ring on the end this one actually looks in good condition it shouldn't ever get damaged but so you're just checking for bits of dirt obviously any bits of metal would be bad news but this one looks good just going to clean it up a little bit And then to get out um, the remaining bits, just lean the Vespa over towards you. Now it's probably advisable to let somebody help you do this. Obviously I'm on my own and filming because you do not want the Vespa to fall on you because it's 150 kilograms. And this is the old oil that I've just taken out. And incredibly, it's really quite black. So you don't realize how dirty and used it is until you pour in the new oil and think, wow, it's like golden syrup, it's lovely. So this is the sump plug, which I've taken out and you can see the rubber O-ring in there. So you can just pull that out just with a small um, screwdriver. And now we just need to get the old oil filter off. Now this one that I've got on the Vespa here has actually got a nut on it so you can get a spanner, a spanner on it which is really good the new one that I've bought hasn't got that so undo the oil filter a little bit and then just unscrew it with your hands gently and just let that drip into your pot again and I've got the oil filter off there so again it's just a waiting game just letting the oil drip into that pot And this is the old oil filter that I've just removed. And as you can see, it's very, very rusty. So that's not good. So it's a good job I'm changing it. And this is the sump plug, so I'm just gonna give that a clean. And that's the old O-ring. So just get an old toothbrush. Give that a good old clean. And then just a tissue. So get your new O-ring, just put a bit of oil on it with your fingers. And then put it back in that sump plug. Obviously it 
if you're buying all the equipment at the beginning, make sure you've got an O-ring spare because you do not want to take that off and find that that is in bad condition. So just put the plastic internal oil filter back in. It doesn't screw in, it basically just pushes. So just give it a twist until it goes. Don't force it. There we go. That just pops in there. Good stuff. Right now take out your brand new oil filter. As you can see there it hasn't got a nut on it. This one's just got a, a wedge kind of hole in it. You can buy a special tool but I didn't bother. So this actually is already lubricated. You can put some extra oil on that rubber seal if you want with your fingers but I'm not going to. And again just put this on by hand make sure you've got the thread good there and just tighten it up as hard as you can with your hands and once you've tightened it up as hard as you can then you just need to get another small turn on it with either an oil filter wrench or I've just got this giant um, it's not a screwdriver it's one of those things that you bash stone with can't remember what it's called <laughs> but I'm just going to give it a quick quarter of a turn with that and there you go there is an actual torque setting for that which actually is 27 to 33 newton meters or 20 to 24 foot pounds now put the sump plug back in again do it up with your fingers to start with make sure you obviously don't ever want to cross thread that So get that in and then we need to tighten that up to a torque setting. You don't have to, I mean I advise if you haven't got a torque wrench just don't over tighten it, don't go mad. But I've got a torque wrench here and I'm going to tighten this up to 24 to 30 newton meters or 18 to 22 foot pounds. Right, there we go. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put in one whole litre, a whole bottle of fresh new oil. Obviously when you've drained the Vespa you won't get absolutely everything out so don't just go pouring in exactly 1.3 litres because you might overfill it and then that's not good. So let's put in this new oil and look at the colour of that. Oh, and the Vespa's going, mmm, yum, yum, yum. Lovely fresh oil for me, for my engine. You don't realise how bad the old oil is until you put in fresh oil. So that's a whole litre in there. Now just clean up the dipstick, just um, with some tissue or an old rag. And that's got a rubber o-ring on it as well but that shouldn't ever corrode but it's obviously worth checking now just screw that back in and now i'm just going to start the vespa up let it run for five minutes and let the engine get hot now the most important thing here is that the engine light goes out if it doesn't turn it off immediately but the engine light's gone out that's a good sign I'm just going to let it warm up. Now what we're going to do now is, this is really important, just lay underneath the Vespa for a couple of minutes and just look at that sump plug and that oil filter. Just make sure you've got no leaks. So obviously the engine's running, there's pressure in there, oil pressure, engine pressure. If there's any leaks, it'll start leaking out of there and you know that you just need to tighten it up just a tiny bit. But this one's looking great. There's no leaks on the oil filter or the oil sump plug. So that's looking really good. So you can see the engine is nice and warm there. Now what we're going to do now is just turn it off and then we're just going to check the oil. Now obviously take, take the dipstick out, give that a clean and then screw it back in and then check it. And basically just keep repeating that process and then you might have to just top it up a little bit. So this is kind of halfway so that's not enough. 
So just get your second bottle of oil and it's got a it's got a gauge down the side. So I'm just going to put in 200 milliliters. So I know that I've put in 1.2 just in case there's still some oil left in there. So I know that I'm not overfilling it. So you do not want to overfill it. So I'm just going to put in 200 milliliters here. So that's the first 50 odd. So let's just put a bit more in. There we go, so I've put in 1.2 litres, which should be perfect. And then later on I can take it for a run, and then if it's a little bit empty still, I can just put in that extra 100 mils. So again, I'm just going to run it again, make sure there's no leaks. Really important while it's running, just make sure you check that. Again, just check the dipstick, dry it off, screw it all the way back in, check it again, just repeat the process. And that is looking absolutely perfect, just on the maximum. Absolutely perfect. Just screw that back in, just hand tight. And after all that hard work and a great job, people, I think it's time for another cup of tea. Hey, careful, man, there's a beverage here, huh? Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna wash my hands with some Swarfiga, because this stuff is magic. Not only does it get all the oil off your hands, it smells fantastic as well. So just give them a wash. And that is how you change the oil and the oil filter on your Vespa GTS 300. If you'd like more how to's and helpful tips and life hacks, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. Thanks for watching.